So the desmopass trial assessed the zopanib and methotrexate vimblastin in uh, desmoid tumors. Desmoid tumors are locally aggressive tumors with a significant potential morbidity and there is no randomized trial in progressive disease. It's an unmet medical need and a rare disease. And so the uh, pazopanib uh, was given to patients on a, a two to one randomization uh, versus uh, methotrexate and viblacine, which is uh, the combination, the only combination that has been assessed in a clinical trial to date. Uh, the trial was a non-comparative randomized trial, uh, and uh, overall uh, the hypothesis was to increase the non-progression rates from 60 to 80. This is the st uh, statistical hypothesis, and uh, overall um, 89 p patients were uh, included in the trial over 60 months uh, in 12 French centers. And um, the primary endpoint of the, of the trial was met, uh, and uh, so the study was positive. So with regard to toxicity, uh, half of the patients uh, needed a dose modification, but only five patients stopped treatment for toxicity. Considering the quality of life, um, there was no uh, decrease in uh, global health status for the patient included in the uh, pezopenib arm. Uh, and there, there was an improvement in uh, pain intensity. Uh, so uh, this study uh, is um, positive and pezopenib can now uh, be uh, considered as a valid option for patients with progressive desmoid tumors.